Last fall, the Finance Minister promised a balanced budget within six years. Last spring, she broke that promise and said that we'd have a balanced budget never. And last week, the Parliamentary Budget Officer revealed that her deficit is now 15 percent bigger than she said it was only six months ago. Is the gov has the government lost total control of our debt? And how much is this inflationary spending going to add to the interest rates Canadians pay on their mega mortgages? Our government will be providing an update on our debt and deficit figures and on our revenues in the fall economic statement in due course. When it comes to Canada's fiscal position, let me also be very, very clear. Canadians should listen to the independent ratings agencies whose job it is to evaluate Canada's position and not the partisan talking Canada down attacks of the opposition. Canada's AAA rating has been reaffirmed by ratings agencies since the budget. We are strong fiscally. Well, apparently former Liberal Finance Minister John Manley is just a partisan using talking points <laughs> when he says that this government's inflationary deficits are like pressing the on the inflationary gas pedal and forcing the Bank of Canada to press on the brakes with higher interest rates. Canadian families have the highest debt load of any country in the G7, and those debts are colliding with the rates that this government is driving up. Will the finance minister cancel their inflationary deficits, balance the budget to bring down interest rates and inflation, or will she admit that she's just not worth the cost? Let me again bring some independent, non-partisan facts to this conversation. It is the job of the ratings agencies to determine the fiscal sustainability of every country's fiscal position. And ratings agencies have reaffirmed Canada's AAA rating. And you know why they did that, Mr. Speaker? Because we have the lowest deficit in the G7. And because, Mr. Speaker, we have the lowest debt to GDP ratio in the G7. We believe in fiscal responsibility, Mr. Speaker, and the numbers show it. The independent nonpartisan voice that I'm interested in is the shipyard worker in Vancouver who told me that his mortgage payment has now risen to $7,500. A month. $7,500 a month for a shipyard worker and a middle class family. That proves that this Prime Minister, after eight years, is not worth the cost of mortgage payments. According to John Manley, Liberal Finance Minister, their deficits are driving up interest rates on the back of mortgage holders. Will she reverse these deficits so that we can bring down? inflation and interest rates before the shipyard worker and millions of Canadians lose their homes. Yeah.